that's juxtaposition for you. Uh, ladies, I hate to call you out, but these guys don't have teddy bears and they deserve one too. I've got your back, dudes. It, 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 one. it might be the wolf scaring them away. Where? It's howling wolf, man. Howling oh, wolf. I love the wolf. Dude. What's a man doing? out at the Geauga, Great Geauga County Fair. Man in the farm and dairy booth, come visit, get a free newspaper. Oh, okay. Buy coffee mugs, t-shirts, give away money. That's in fashion these days. All kinds of free stuff. But the farm and dairy, Ohio's largest rural. So these two young people look like they came right out of our decade, the 70s. They're wearing great rock and roll shirts and bell-bottom jeans and everything. How'd you get into our old people culture? Just the way we were raised, I guess. Excellent. Where did you guys grow up? I'm from Dorset, Ohio. I like to stop by. Okay. Yeah, I pretty much grew up in Jefferson and in that area. Cool. Well... It looks like you grew up with good values, the values like that are in the farm and dairy, old school analog life. Thank you for uh, stopping by. Yeah. Would you like a free farm and dairy? Free farm and dairy. And you get a notepad and a pencil too? I think we get this. Do you? Yeah. All right. Well, do you want the notepad and the pencil? You want the farm and dairy? I don't want to carry something around. There you go. I get you. Maybe on the way out. Well, thank you for obliging me. Yeah. Have a good night. Boom!
Not yet. It's a video, so. Here. I got you. Only song I heard today. I had a clue and didn't know what they would play. This one's awfully good. We are looking for exhibitor 88, 172 on deck, 189 in the hole.
You're no goat. <laughs> but I'll bet those are yours. They're awfully cute. They how old are they? You know how old they are? Uh, I think she's seven months and she's six months. So not that, not that little. Hi. Well, hello. You're a camera ham, aren't you? I've got a dog like you. You don't look that different.
much does that ride cost them? What? How much does it cost them to do that? You don't know? Alrighty, you, tell, see, you just taught me something about the Farmer's Almanac. Would yes, you sir. I'm an avid almanac reader. And you see this hole right here? That hole is to put a string on and hang it by the toilet. So you can read it whenever you want. You know? The original... relaxing mood. The original library book. You open it up and you see what... And you can see what the weather is in March. And you'll feel much better before you go to bed. <laughs> Thank you, sir. No, I thought everybody knew that. No. And Actually, I'm a uh, I'm a book nerd. I'm I, I'm surprised. I used to put it on a tie a string on it and hang it up. But uh, you can hang it on a nail and actually outhouses probably. Yeah, going way back, probably hung in the outhouse on a nail. And if they ran out of leaves, you got it. There you. If your Sears Roebuck ran uh, catalog ran low, <laughs> that's why some of them are so collectible. That's right. Well, you take care of yourself. Thank you very much. Thank you for the history lesson. And pray that they're wrong about the winter. Pray that they're wrong about everything that's happening. My goodness well, gracious. We a, a harsh winter for this Well, we're used to it. Well, we're honored to have the Tuscaroras County Fair King here. Tell me uh, what you did to become the Fair King. Um, so we had to go through um, an inter interview process with uh, a couple of judges. Uh, we had to write a five paragraph essay and then we also uh, did like a sign up sheet where we signed in like all the things that we've done for the community and all of our community service hours and uh, all the things we've done to represent our community. Um, it was an extensive process. It took about two months to complete. It was over the summer and then our crowning ceremony was the Sunday before fair service. So what, what was your uh, community service of focus? Um, so a lot of the stuff we did with our 4-H club, um, we planted flowers for our local gun club. Um, we helped a lot of the people at Hennis Care Center. We came and we visited a lot of the elderly in Dover. Um, I did a lot of community service, um, doing different things for some of my neighbors, uh, planting flowers, uh, doing a lot of yard work for some of our elderly neighbors that couldn't do it. I did help volunteer with the soup kitchen with my 4-H club this last year after I was king. Um, I do a lot of stuff more with 4-H. Um, we did some stuff with our senior class as well. Um, I tried to get out with the community with groups of us um, to represent. Very good. So what uh, what what looms in the future for the king? Um, so this year will be my sophomore year at Ohio State um, ATI in Worcester. Um, I'm currently majoring in agri-science education. Um, I plan to be in OSU Extension and work for an extension for one of the counties for the state of Ohio. Um, I have about four more years to go. Uh, it's going to be a long road. Well, good luck to you. Uh, here, here's something that whenever I hear Tuscaroras, I think of that weather girl on Channel 19, Samantha Roberts. Yes. She's very challenged in pronouncing your city's name right. Yes. So you might want to reach out and do a community service to help Samantha Roberts. I will. Cool. Uh, if, she, if she gets this, you pronounce it Tuscarawas. Tuscarawas. Rawas. Yeah. Or a lot of people just say Tuscarawas. Um, a lot of people mix up the W's and the R's. It's, it's difficult. It is. I know I botch it up. Yes. <laughs> I botch it up every once in a while. Oh, I'm glad to hear that the Samantha hear that. The king botches it up too. Well, thank you very much for your time. Enjoy the fair and I hope your kingdom follows you to great community service. Thank you. Have a good day. You too.